so in the last video we added an image field to our product model and when we upload it the image just got uploaded to this base directory here so right in the root of our backend Django project so I want to take care of this and actually make sure it gets uploaded into our static files folder so I am going to remove this image so when we upload this this should go into a new directory once we have this setup and uh, in our backend folder I am going to create a folder called static so I just want to give you an example here and so we are going to create we are going to call it static and typically we would have files like uh, uh, one for our CSS then all of our CSS files would go in here then we would configure our JavaScript files and so they would all sit in here and we would have a file for or a folder for our images so we are not going to use these two right here we are just going to use the images but I just wanted to give you an idea so you can understand what's going on here and to actually uh, configure uh, the static files folder because Django doesn't know about this uh, yet so we need to go into settings.py and let Django know about it so we are going to use this base dir's directory and this just point us back to the root so I want to show you uh, where we are getting this and down here we have our static URL that's already built in and uh, but to tell Django about our static files folder we are just going to do static files and then we are just going to do underscore dir so directories and this is just going to be a list so we can configure multiple static files and we can uh, add different folders here so for this I am just going to do uh, master that base that dirs uh, we are going to pick this static pointing to the static folder so just to recap we are pointing back into this folder or into our root directory and uh, we are telling it about this static folder so now Django knows about the static folder but we are not done with the images folder yet so to let our files know where to upload images what we need to do is configure something called media so this medium root so media root and I would recommend you look into the documentation here media root is for user uploaded content so media root and this is just basically saying that anytime we have a file that a user uploads uh, from a model where are we going to upload these folders so what I am going to do is tell Django to look into the static folder and then go ahead and look into uh, the images folder so upload it into this file path right here so once we go into the root follow this file path and I want images to be uploaded here so let's do the split screen again and now when I upload something so I am going to have to bring this over here when I upload our airports again we should see the images get uploaded here instead of into the root so we will just hit upload here 
we'll save that and uh, there we go so now our images are being uploaded into the images folder and that's how I want to take care of things so there is one last thing uh, that I want to take care of and uh, that is actually uh, set uh, the media URL so we can actually render these images uh, so right now if I click on the airports our URL path doesn't really have anything set for it uh, so it is still not able to render out those images so to do that what I need to do is just under our static URL uh, this is that URL path for generic static URL static files and I am just going to set media underscore URL now and I want to images to be rendered out from uh, let's uh, uh, just uh, do forward slash images like this now to actually set the URL paths I need to go into our urls.py So URL.py files from the root directory. So the one that was already built in, not the one that we created for our app here. And I need to make uh, a few imports and then actually connect this. So I'm just going to do from Django dot and that's dot conf and I'm going to import settings here. So we are just going to do import settings and uh, I want to actually be able to work with the files from our variables from our settings.py file. So I imported that and then I also want to import a function called static. So this is going to be a uh, from Django. conf dot urls dot static and this is function that allows us to connect our urls so we are just going to import a static so now we can work with our settings dot py file and we have the static function and here I am just going to take this URL pattern and I am going to add another path to this. So I am just going to do plus equals and I am going to use a static function. We are going to use static here so we are going to set the URL. So what the URL to our folder? Then we actually need to connect that folder so we are just going to do settings dot uh, media url so we are going to point to this variable right here and we are going to do or this variable media url And then after media URL, we are going to tell it which folder to look into. So document. And then underscore route and that's going to be set to settings dot media route. So media underscore. route that so we are setting the root so we are setting the URL media route so we bring it from uh, settings now we are telling our URLs to look into media 
uh, root and then pull up those files so now if I save this if I save both of these let's go ahead and open that up and I actually want to go back here and you will notice that we are going to go into the image folder now and now we can see the airports so I go back a few uh, when we first loaded that I guess it would not let me look at uh, that uh, it just loaded up the airports but we didn't uh, have this images in our URL path and that's because we set it right here and now we configure that so in the next video what we are going to do is actually take care of serializing our model data uh, because we have our database set up we have an item in that database we need to render this data out into JSON format so now we can actually start using it in the front end with react